Oh, we're playing? Okay. Um, talking about your father, Jim Henson, um, you know, we, I certainly can appreciate the pain of a loss such as that seven years ago yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a, a, a great um, tribute, though, sitting in the theater seeing that big logo coming up, Jim Henson Pictures. <laughs> yeah, well. It's got to be somewhat bittersweet, I would imagine. Well, my father died at, at 53, and, and he was fit as a horse, and, and he was never real, and he could outwork everybody, and he worked all the time. And, you know, he was only halfway through his career, so that, that was a real shock to all of us. Having said that, I'm real pleased, and I hope that he will be proud that the company has, you know, continues to flourish and continues to, to, to do what he was trying to do and trying to make this world a little bit of a better place with, mm -hmm. with what we do. And I think Buddy is a great e example of that. It's a great film that does make people think. It does make them think. It's got a very strong message to it. It's doing research on the Internet, and... Uh saw an article with the Associated Press right after you did Muppet Treasure Island talking about the Muppets, talking about how you thought in the 80s it wasn't a Muppet-friendly fr decade, that, that mm -hmm. uh, people were cool and collective. They didn't have soul. They didn't have heart. I found it interesting <coughs> pointing out in the, in, the, in the press notes, and you could see it in the film, the gorilla's eyes, the windows to the soul. It's really important in creating those sorts of characters, isn't it? Well, yeah, I think that when we create a character, it's not about how big can it roar and how quickly can it rip you apart. <laughs> With us, it's about that character's heart and soul and, and, and its personality. And that's all, you know, all of our projects grow out of the characters and, and the story and not from the action. Uh, and I did mean what I, what I said when I, I said the 80s were kind of a, was kind of an unfriendly decade. It was a pretty slick plastic decade to, to me, mm -hmm. and it was about opportunism, and it was it was not about loyalty, and it was not about doing what's right, you know. And I feel like there's a real swing back in the in the '90s to to a healthier outlook and and living more with tolerance and and people learning to live together and appreciate each other and be a little more empathetic and compassionate towards each other. And that's good for our mm -hmm. company. That's what we're always mm -hmm. trying to do. I well, guess we screwed up in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> but the challenge is, is that to survive. I mean, and, and you've well done that. You didn't bend nor break. In the 80s, you kept on, uh, all with the goal of making great family films, which is something you continue to do. I mean, obviously, there's other avenues, too, that you're branching out into. But uh, it's, uh, the well, bottom line is you've got to love what you're doing. Otherwise, forget it. I mean, it's going to catch up with those people. I think that's true. I think that's true. In, in our company, I like to think everybody really loves what they're doing. When, when we do a television show, everybody's fully invested in it, and, and everybody really believes in what they're trying to do. And when we do a movie, everybody believes in what we're trying to do. And there's always a degree of, this show is impossible, how can we do it? This movie is impossible, how can we do it? And, and then there is always, hopefully, the reason why we're going to do it is because it's good. This is the type of show, this is the type of movie that should be out. This is what... Mm -hmm what the audience should be seeing and this is what the world needs right now, hopefully. That's what, what we believe. Talking about the wonderful filmmakers that you aligned yourself with for this project, Caroline Thompson for one. Another one isn't such of an, uh, an automatic. Um, you're looking at Francis Ford Coppola, who has done family films. Mm -hmm. He's done, in the sense of the word we're talking about, Buddy, that kind of family film. Other types of family films in the sense of The Godfather. <laughs> Those aren't the kinds of pictures. Different you, sort of family. Yeah, picture. there you go. Um, but, uh, but he tells, Francis always tells a story from the characters mm -hmm. as well. So in that sense, there is, a, there is, you know, there is crossover between our company and Zoetrope. And there's crossover between our company and, and Amblin in terms of the illusion and the and the spectacular. You know, we always have a bit of that as well. Um, I think the reason why um, the whole film came from the relationship with Zoetrope and and um, and Caroline Thompson. Um, that's where that whole contact had come from. Was was um, Secret Garden and. Yeah, it's just it's a, it makes for an interesting group, you know. 
I think it's good when you have people that are quite extraordinarily different working together on a project to do something. Yeah. Wonderful motion picture. The name of the picture is Buddy with Brian Henson. Forget about the Dalmatians. People are going to want, I think, chimps now. <laughs> Everybody's going to want to go out and buy a chimp. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful work, Brian. Well, Congratulations you. on your career. You're doing great. Thank we'll steam you. ahead into the year 2000. Thanks. <laughs> great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.